Casey Bowen joins me. Casey's with Hangold Capital Management. And, uh, Casey, this headline, I saw it myself. Two-thirds of Americans say they would have a hard time coming up with $1,000 in the event of an emergency. And, you know, it's, it's, it's not the first time I've seen that headline. No, I've seen this headline not only in recent days, but I can go back about every year for several years now, and it's almost the same statistic. And we are several years now into a recovery from the Great Recession, and not a lot's changed. And, and you know, that just baffles me, and, and it makes me concerned when I see the headline still. Yeah, and for starters, it's people making under 50, so they have a hard time coming up with $1,000. And you can see where that makes some sense, especially depending where in your life you are. But the people who make a lot more than that also say they'd have a hard time doing it. Yeah, I mean, 67% of people who are making between $50,000 and $100,000 still would have trouble coming up with $1,000. And even though the country is wealthiest, so when you look at the wealthiest 20%, that's households making more than 100000 a year. 38% of them said they would have at least some difficulty coming up with $1,000. And, you know, I can't do it the way Lance McAllister can, but he takes five seconds to say the word, wow. And you, it, you always have to fill in Lance's words right here. It's such a grim statistic, but again, it's so shocking. Yeah, and so they say at least. And I don't know if everybody's up front on these questions about their finances. I, I don't know if somebody called me if I'd be up front or not. But to, if if they're accurate, they're a couple of paychecks away from financial disaster. Pretty much any one of them. That's right, and that's the scary thought of if we have a recession, again, the last recession, the Great Recession, we had such a domino effect because there were a lot of people who were leveraged. If we had that again, a recession for some period of time, that could be still hard for the economy, and the ramifications could be uh, extraordinary potentially. And so I think a lot of people say, well, where do I start? You know, sometimes it's just as little as if you can set up an automated savings plans of $50 to $100 a month, making it automated is helpful as the money is going to disappear disappear from your account before you spend it. You'll start to build up some confidence. Don't try to use that credit card, though, and you may have to dip into it at times. But for some, maybe it's you just need to change it, making the hard decisions about habits. Look to Dave Ramsey if that's the case. He's got a great book called The Total Money Makeover. It's a great method to get people on the right track, as well as they offer some classes at some of the local churches in the community.